Hello Mumsies, thanks for stopping by on my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Mumsy Vanny. In today's video, I will be sharing with you the things that my husband has experienced or has gone through during his travel going home here in the Philippines. I know this is very important and this is um, also an information especially to our kababayans or to our overseas Filipino workers who are planning or thinking to go home this holiday season. So if you are interested to know what are these things that you need to prepare before you travel, please keep on watching. By the way, before anything else, I just want to shout out to our local business here in the city, Cagayan de Oro. I bought or ordered these things from Essa Clothing or Essa Clothing um, PH. Um, you can check them one out on Instagram. And here it is, ayan. I'm so um, happy actually because they have personally sent these items to me uh, yesterday. I love how they package their, their things because it's very minimal. And they have this special note here that says, Hello gorgeous, thanks. Uh, thank you for supporting our shop. Hope this brightens your day. We'd love to see you on it. Um, tag us on Instagram or Facebook at esako.ph So again, I will just put in the description box below Mumsies where you can check Esa and Co on Instagram and on Facebook. So basically, these are just some um, clothes and they're very affordable mga Mumsies. Let me just show you. Ayan! Crop top pala to. It's very sexy, o oh, ba? Ayan, sequencia. And you know, their prices really range from as low as 50 to 300, I guess. Ay, parang wala pa ako nakita that it reaches around 300. So, ayan, jacket. Tamang tama um, ngayong um, Christmas because it's um, a bit cold already. The breeze is really Christmas. So, let me just open this one up also. This is actually the last collection that they have. I also bought earrings because I love unique designs of earrings and they have it. So, ayan, we have another set of earrings and naman, Mumsies, that we can use on our vlogs. So, stay tuned for New Year or next year. Okay, I will be using these clothes from Eza and Clothing. Ayan, wa, diba? Ang ganda. And also, yeah, I'm ready for summer. Very cute. Very cute clothes. So, ayan. Alright. I love this one. And here's another earrings that I got from them. Oh, diba? And you know what, mom? This only costs 99 pesos each. And they have here something. I don't know if I ordered this. I can't remember. Um, I, I don't know, or this is a freebie from them. Lip and cheek tint. Oh my god, this is so cool. Alright, so I am. So they give me two actually. I don't know what's the um, shade of this. It smells good. Let us do a quick swatch. Oh, okay. Ano to? <laughs> it's something like brownish or black. I don't know. Maybe kasi bago ko pa lang siyang... Um, in open so we'll see if how it looks when I apply it on my lips just a quick swatch oh this one is um, sweetie the shade is sweetie and the other one okay it's the same actually so oh actually they're the same okay but Anyway, we will try that one on our lips next time on my next vlog, alright? So again, if you want to check them out, I will just put the link on the description box below. 
As we all know, momsies, here in the Philippines, Christmas is really the best time of the year. And maybe, I guess, on, on other countries who are celebrating Christmas, that it's really the best time of the year that we celebrate it with our family. So my husband hasn't gone home for a year because of the pandemic. So we really try to work on it because our kids are really looking forward that their um, papa can go home during this Christmas. So luckily that um, when he applied his leave, there was no problem on, on the end of, of, of his company. It's just that we are really worried how the government of Singapore will act on this or how they will, um, you know, the process and all. But God is really so good and um, I'm really hopeful and prayerful that things will be granted. Uh, please listen carefully on these details because this is very important, again, as I've said, especially to our Kababayans and OFWs who are thinking or planning of going home this holiday season. You still have time to do this one. So let's begin. By the way, I just want to say also that this vlog is based on the experience or on the travel of my husband from Singapore to Cebu and to Cagayan de Oro City. I have taken some note, important notes here that I will be reading out to you, Mamzi. So firstly is um, when traveling on this time of the pandemic, um, make sure that you check the airlines for mandatory requirements um, for example before boarding they will be asking you of course your important documents like your ticket your passport um, face mask face shield because there were some passengers according to my husband that uh, when he traveled that some of the passengers don't have the face shield um, remember this is mandatory so you have to uh, bring along with you a face shield because the moment you board or the moment you get into the airline they will be requiring you to be wearing the face shield next is that you need to also check the um, airport's mandatory requirements before um, before your travel for example my 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 husband came from singapore and from singapore there's no much of requirements that he needed to comply except for the one i've said earlier so but um you have to know the city or the country that you're going to um, for example my husband is um, coming from singapore to cebu so he will be landing to cebu now you need to check the airport's mandatory requirements for example in cebu you need to register on ncia website or that's the metro cebu international airport this registration is used for swabbing when you arrive in cebu um, they will be asking you if you have already registered or on mcia for swabbing by the way for OA members, right, make sure that your membership is still valid because you don't need to pay anything for the swabbing and also for your hotel accommodation. Alright, so for non-OFW, you will shoulder the payment for your swabbing and also make sure to check the list of um, quarantine hotels under DOH website for you to stay for this moment that when you are waiting for your swab result okay now next is upon boarding um airlines have different requirements also so again check um, the list of country of destination for these mandatory requirements that they need so make sure that you have all the necessary documents so that the moment you board or you check in for your flight there is no hustle and there is no um, delays for you and also for the airlines so again very important reminder is that you need to have that barcode because during um boarding they will be asking you if you have already registered on that so that when you reach cebu you will have to 
present that barcode for swabbing. Now, upon arrival in Cebu International Airport, the um, airport personnel will be asking you for that barcode. And for OFW passengers, you need to line up to verify your OWA membership and also your swabbing. N now, for the non OFW, again, that barcode is needed for verification. And if you haven't registered or if you don't have that barcode yet, don't worry because you can still do the um, registration on the spot or meaning when you have reached the um, airport already. After uh, the OFW has been um, verified and their membership is okay, you will be um, lined up for swabbing and then you can proceed to wait for your luggage and also wait for the uh, transport that will take you to this um, quarantine hotels or facilities that DOH has provided for you. Now, for non-OFW, um, I'm not sure what will be the arrangement with regards with your transportation, but as far as I know, personal transport or public transport is not allowed, all right? So I think you have to check on it too. So if everything is good from the airport, all you have to do is just proceed on the um, transportation that DOH has provided and they will bring you to these quarantine hotels. And when you reach on these quarantine hotels, there will be short briefing before you will be directed to your um, personal private rooms. From there, you have to wait on the result on your swabbing. For my husband, luckily, it only took us uh, less than 24 hours to receive the result. And um, after that, we were given, and make by the way, make sure that the result is um, given by the Bureau of Quarantine via your email. And after that, you are given an option either to wait for them to get the list of of passengers that will be accommodated by OWA, uh, that transportation will be free. But if you cannot wait for that, um, you can also arrange for your personal um, transportation because my husband still needs to travel from Cebu to Cagayan de Oro. All right, so now here's the thing. This is now the domestic flight of my husband from Cebu to Cagayan de Oro. So these are the things that you have to take note, um, mumsies, all right? So for domestic travel, ensure you have mandatory face shield and face mask and um, bring with you your PCR result from the Bureau of um, Quarantine, all right? And that includes the COVID Shield Travel Authority. Everything is actually there on the document. Um, that is given to you by the Bureau of Quarantine and also this one is very important You need to have the acceptance letter from the LGU specifically from the barangay level so on this part what I did um, I have contacted this um, personnel or officer in our local barangay and inform her about the arrival of my husband from Cebu to Cagayan de Oro. So she was able to make the, the acceptance letter and was able to give it to my husband because before boarding from Cebu, they will be looking or asking this document. If you don't have this document, you cannot board the plane. All right, so moving forward. Um, the flight of my husband from Cebu to Cagayan de Oro, okay? So when he reached Lagindingan Airport, you will need to queue uh, on the DOH for profiling. And then um, you will wait again to get your luggage and also wait for the specific um, LGU transportation that is provided by the city. So again, personal and public transportation is not allowed at this point. Now, the moment you ride on the um, LGU transportation, you will be brought to this um, what we call holding area, all right? Now, from that holding area, you will need to have a short briefing again. And um, from there, your specific barangay 
um, officials will be getting you from the holding area and they will be the one to bring you home now I would like to emphasize that there are two ways for you to um, be quarantined and again you need to accomplish or to finish 14 days of quarantine so here's the thing during the um, or when you are still at the holding area um, the barangay officials will be checking if you, if you want to be home quarantined or under city quarantine facilities now for home quarantine the place where you will be uh, quarantined should should have its own bathroom or toilet and um, for city quarantine facilities again these are hotels or pension houses that is provided by the um, local government make sure that when you are in a home quarantine that your place is not on dikit dikit <laughs> or those houses that are really close to one another and also it is approved by the um, neighbors because some are you know they might be um not they will not allow or they will not agree to have um someone that is coming outside to be um, quarantined on the area so it has to be approved also by the neighbors and also by the barangay officials now if you select to be um, quarantined under city quarantine facilities you will be quarantined for five days and will be subjected for free pcr and if your result is negative um you can now go home to your families but you still need to continue and to comply the 14 days quarantine um, in case that your your result is some um, positive of course they will be bringing you or they will transfer you to COVID-19 um, medical facility so there you go momsies I hope this vlog has helped you especially to our kababayans and to our fellow OFWs who are planning and thinking to go home this holiday season or maybe in the next uh, months to come make sure that you do research and read also the requirements of each country of your your destination to to avoid hustle and to avoid delays okay so i hope this is um this has really helped you this has some um, informed you also what to do and give you heads up when you are thinking of coming home even if uh, my husband is still under quarantine this christmas we are still grateful and thankful that he is home with us today um hopefully before the new year he is already um, free from his quarantine and finally he can join with us so thank you again momsies for being with me and for watching this vlog i really wish you a merry christmas a safety and a prosperous year ahead of you thank you so much and i'll see you on my next vlog godspeed